Uh, hello viewers, welcome to my channel and today's topic is uh, uh, diabetes and erectile dysfunction, you know. Uh, so what's the connection? Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share this video to support this channel. You know, diabetes and erectile dysfunction uh, are the two separate conditions and they tend to go uh, hand in hand or side by side, you know. And uh, erectile dysfunction uh, is defined as uh, having the difficulty in achieving or maintaining an erection, you know. And the men who have the diabetes are uh, two or three times more likely to develop the erectile dysfunction, you know. And uh, uh, the women with the ages, uh, like, you know, uh, when the age uh, 45 or over, you know, uh, uh, you're more likely to develop this uh, uh, problem you know and uh, it may be a sign of the type 2 diabetes and uh, diabetes occurs when you have too much uh, sugar circulating in the bloodstream you know and there are two main types of uh, uh, like uh, uh, diabetes type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes you know uh, uh, which uh, type 1 affects about 10 percent of the cases you know and uh, type 2 is rest 90 percent you know and uh, uh, the type 2 diabetes uh, often develops as a result of being uh, overweight and inactive, you know. And approximately 30 million Americans, they uh, have uh, diabetes, you know. And about half of them are men. So an estimated 10% of the men ages uh, 10, sorry, ages 40 to 70 uh, have erectile dysfunction, you know. And uh, another 25 percent have the moderate erectile dysfunction, and uh, uh, you know erectile dysfunction tends to become more common as the men age, and uh, uh, it's uh, uh, it's not an like kind of uh, uh, like any white table part of aging, you know. So for m many men, other health conditions such as diabetes are uh, they contribute. To, to the likelihood of developing the erectile dysfunction, you know. And uh, in fact, uh, there was a study uh, from the Boston University Medical Center, uh, uh, and they reported that about uh, half of the men who are diagnosed with type 2 diabetes will uh, develop the erectile dysfunction uh, within 5 to 10 years of their diagnosis, you know. And if uh, uh, those men uh, also have heart disease, um, their number is even great, their chances are even greater, you know. And the results of the uh, 2014 study suggest that if you have diabetes but uh, adopt a healthy lifestyle, uh, you may reduce the, your diabetes symptoms to improve and improve your kind of sexual health as well uh, as a result of the controlled uh, diabetes, you know. And uh, the lifestyle habits include like eating on uh, balanced diet, uh, getting regular exercise, uh, lose weight, you know, if you are obese, stop smoking, walk regularly, exercise regularly. So this way uh, you can uh, control the diabetes as well as uh, erectile dysfunction too, you know. So next thing is what are the causes of the erectile dysfunction in men, you know. You know the connection between the diabetes and the erectile dysfunction is related to your uh, circulation and the nervous system, you know. And uh, uh, the poorly controlled blood uh, blood glucose, you know, uh, can damage small blood vessels and the nerves. And uh, the damage to the nerves uh, that control the sexual stimulation and response can, like, uh, uh, impede a man's ability to achieve an erection and to maintain that erection, you know. Uh, and uh, reduced blood flow from the damaged blood vessels can also contribute to the erectile dysfunction. And uh, there are several risk factors that can uh, increase your chance of diabetes complications, including the erectile dysfunction, you know. And uh, you may be at more risk uh, if uh, you have uh, uh, poorly managed blood sugar or uh, stressed, you know, uh, you have anxiety, or depression, eating uh, not proper food, you know, 
uh, and uh, are not active, you are obese, you are smoking, you have excessive alcoholism, uh, certain medications, uh, high um, uh, blood cholesterol, etc. You know, and certain prescription drugs as well. So these are the uh, you in that case you are more likely to develop the erectile dysfunction. You know. Now, if you notice any of uh, the changes uh, in the frequency or the duration of your erections, you know. I tell your doctor uh, and uh, he will ask you the questions about uh, the history of this condition and he will perform the physical examination where he will uh, look around the testicles and penis and uh, uh, see if there is any sign of any kind of uh, abnormality there you know and uh, your doctor uh, can diagnose by just reviewing the, as I said medical history you know and uh, uh, you know the blood and the urine tests may be advised so oh, he can get any evidence and he can study the level of the hormones in the blood you know like uh, testosterone you know and uh, they may be able to uh, prescribe the medications as well as uh, refer to any other specialized healthcare you know uh, for further evaluation if needed you know and if you have not experienced any symptoms of the erectile dysfunction uh, but you have been diagnosed with the diabetes or the heart disease, you know, uh, you should discuss the possibility of uh, future diagnosis with your doctor, you know, and uh, they can help you determine which preventive steps you can take right now, you know, just to delay this uh, uh, progression, you know. Uh, if you are diagnosed with erectile dysfunction, uh, your doctor will likely recommend an uh, oral medication such as uh, Viagra, you know, or uh, uh, soilis, you know, or uh, uh, Levitro, you know. So these prescription medications help to improve the blood flow to the penis and generally uh, they are well tolerated by most of the men, you know. And uh, having diabetes sh uh, should not interfere with your ability to uh, take one of these medications, you know. And uh, they don't interact uh, uh, negatively. Um, with the diabetes drugs such as uh, glucophage or insulin etc you know and uh, uh, there are other erectile treatments like uh, such as the pumps and uh, penile implants and uh, uh, you may want to try uh, uh, the oral medication first you know and if it does not work then you can go for the other options you know and uh, uh, you know the diabetes uh, uh, is chronic condition you know is chronic health condition and uh, that will uh, uh, have the lifelong uh, impact you know and uh, um, uh, through both type 1 and type 2 diabetes can be well controlled through the medi uh, through the medications uh, balanced diet exercise and certain uh, measures like losing the weight or stop smoking and uh, uh, reduce uh, the alcohol consumption you know Thank you. Yeah.